So that's taken care of. Uh, that is honestly uh, just about all of the side quests on Dantooine. I do need to turn in the one about the droid, but other than that, we should pretty much just head back to take care of the Dantooine ruins that we have to explore because of Revan and Malak, because those assholes have, you know, kind of created a bit of a problem for us, and it's important that we go find the what they found, and find out what it is that they found, because right now we... we don't know anything. Also, the last of the Mandalorians are over here, so... Oh, and more ca- more ha- more... <laughs> horned cat hounds. I almost said hammed cat hounds, but that's not right. Let's take him out. Ugh, I just got home. It's been a... a bit of a long day for me, but I do need to record this, because I'm going to be... I'm not going to be home next weekend, so I'm recording this now because I really don't have too much of a choice. Ah, so this is the meddler. That's me. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Yeah, feared? That's why you're hanging out and, you know, kind of harassing farmers and whatnot? Yeah, you're really fearful. Oh, he's, he's immune. All right. He's too strong for the force! Oh man, he's kicking my ass already, alright. Uh, I should probably turn on my shield now that I think about it. Let me just turn that shield on. Did I not? Okay, I did turn it on. Oh, Basil is down. Alright, that's not good. Well, this battle's about to fail. I can promise you that much. Oh wow, I need to heal up. Alright, uh, I could heal, you know in combat, but that's not going to go too well, because that uses up one of my turns. So, all items, show new items, show quest items, show equipable, equipable items, I can't talk today, usable items, that's what I want to do. Alright. Uh, once Sharuk is down, we'll be fine. I also, I don't want to keep using attack. Oh, come on, he's so close, oh, I'm about to die, alright. Alright, I'll be fine. Okay, good. Now I just got these assholes to deal with. Uh, push. Yeah. Going for the kill. Yeah, Karth, could you help out over here? You're not really doing much of anything. I'm getting stabbed to death over here. If I die, that would suck right now. Alright. Wonderful. Bastly, you can wake up now. Battle's over. He had a blue lightsaber and a red lightsaber. Uh, Verbine Cardio Regulator and Sonic Nullifiers. This is probably the backpack I already checked, but I just want to make sure it is. Yeah, Basila, great job right there. Yeah, I can see why you're such a great Jedi. Yeah, he could have added your lightsaber to his collection. What do you have to say about that? Oh, oh Basila, you nut. Alright, that takes care of all of that. I'm going to level up. Uh, skills, let's do treat injury and awareness, feats, let's max out my flurry, powers, it's a good question, what power do I want? I forget, is there a force jump in this game? I think there is. Let me see if I can find it. Or is force, force jump might be a feat now that I think about it. Uh, it might be. Affect mind. What is this? Stun? Oh, let's do stasis. Okay. So now I have two lightsabers. <laughs> Only one of them active, though. Could I turn off my other lightsaber? That'd be great right about now. No? I guess not. Alright. I just really want to show off my new lightsaber. I'll probably change the color crystal when I get a chance. I don't need to fight that cat hound, I don't think. I'm trying to remember where it is I need to go. Path north, path south. I came from path south, so let's go. No, let's go to this uh, one over here. I'm bullying this cat hound. Fear my two lightsabers. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for dying. Thank you very, very much. Oh, the Metali grounds. 
where the man who runs this estate hates me because I may have led to his son running away. But that's what happens. Kids in love, am I right? Kids in love. Yeah, stasis. How about those new, <laughs> those new force powers in action? I can't talk today. Mainly because... Oh, really, Bastila? Bastila, you are just utter crap today. You are just falling down. Quite literally. Oh, Bastila, what are you doing? Yeah, I'll heal you once you come back to life, but... Could you wake up anytime now? There you are. Alright. Oh, oh, Bastila. You're supposed to be a really good Jedi, right? Really not proving your worth today. Yeah, no, you're here. And you'll be knocked out in two seconds. Just watch. Sure. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, so, the reason I wanted to go to this uh, way was because it'll put us closer to the ruins. There's probably going to be some cathowns by the entrance, but that is kind of to be expected. It is Dantooine. There are a lot of cathowns. Okay, we cleared this area out of cathowns. It would seem strange ruins. Yeah. A little bit strange. Strange how pixelated that background was. Uh, more of a backdrop, but you know, whatever. Ah, the ruins. This is a uh, tough ish area, as much as I recall. Although I should be fine. I think we'll manage. Bastila, maybe not, but you know. Bastila's not bringing her A game today. Um. Yes. Oh, speak English, please. Oh, English, please. What language is that? What What are you trying to say? Well, uh, that's Tuscan Raider. I just don't know how to speak it. Yeah, no, could you, um... You know, Bastila, do you have any idea what this droid is saying? The droid must be broken. This is pointless. Let's go. This droid must be broken. No, I mean, I know what the second language is. Bastly, do you have any idea what this droid is saying? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> That one I understood. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? I like how I'm not even looking at the droid. I'm just like, huh, hey Bastila, how you doing there? Look at my new lightsaber. Now I'm looking at him. Now I'm interested. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Uh, are you some type of guardian? Um, how long have you been here? Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. Yeah, your builders were a bunch of nerds if they knew how to calculate that. Who are these builders you keep talking about? What is the Star Forge? Uh, yeah, but, but, but what is it? You know, what does it do? That really didn't help me at all. Yeah, I think the droid is broken. Yeah, I've got a propaganda the droid, droid over here. Not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. 
In fact, it could be anything. Not anything. I mean, it's probably not a giant bunny with lasers strapped to its back. Uh, could it have been a factory or weapons plant? You know, judging by the name Forge? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. It creates the droid stars. Has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Uh, all right. Who are these builders you keep talking about? Since Bastila is putting all the pressure on me. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. The droids speak Selkath, maybe they were the Builders. Uh, something must have happened to wipe the Builders out. <laughs> Okay, propaganda droid, we get it. You love the builders. Bob the Builder's your master. All hail Bob the Builder. Have you seen a builder recently? What is your purpose here again? Where can we find the Starforge? Tell me about Revan and Malik, the ones who came before us. Oh, hey! That's Nemo. That's the guy we talked to before. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. We found him. Council we found Nemo. Council to investigate. And it cost him his life. Time to find Dory. Uh, yeah, no, I was wondering when we would get to that. He's kind of been laying there since we got in. I was wondering when we would when we would, you know, talk about the dead body in the room. Did you kill the Jedi over there? How can I prove myself worthy? How can I seal, open the sealed doors behind you? How can I prove myself worthy? Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Yeah, you know, once again, no pressure at all. Can I, uh, can I just touch the body, see what he has? Ooh, Jedi Knight Robe and a crystal. Ironically, I can't loot his lightsaber, though. Alright, so... Defense bonus 2, and max dexterity bonus of 8. Alright, and I will give Bastila the Jedi robe now. Wonderful. Yes. Ironically, he also wasn't wearing these robes when he died. He was just carrying them in his pocket, because he was like, Hey, I really like these robes, I'm just gonna hold on to them in case someone needs them later. Bombs away! Yeah, let's go. Oh, I never... I never got a stun droid. I should probably do that next time I level up. Oh. Yeah, Karth, could you shoot the droid a little more? You're really not doing anything over here. We could really use your help, buddy. Uh, and I'm missing because I'm, I'm apparently blind. Or just really clumsy with my lightsabers. Uh, I'm trying to think. I do have the two-handed mastery... Feet, I'm pretty sure. Although I might not have it completely specked out, so I might need to do that later on. Because there is a bit of a two-handed penalty if you're using two regular lightsabers, as opposed to a short lightsaber, which you can get later on, I'm pretty sure, if memory serves me right. I could be wrong, though, because it's been a while since i played. Come on, stop setting us on fire. It's cheating. I don't like it. I would throw more grenades, but we're standing right in front of you, so that's not really an option. Fortunately, we're not taking that much damage. He's just really, really tanky. Oh, he's almost down. Almost. Oh, I missed. How anticlimactic. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> Look at that sliver of health. Oh, wow. Alright, come on. 
Yay! And Basilo leveled up. Oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. Alright, so skills. Let's do treat injury and awareness, as always. Powers. Let's give her... Let's give her... Whirlwind. Accept. Alright. Does he have any remains? Not. Alright, apparently he does not. Alright. Um, press a button. A new sequence of equally incomprehensible characters appear on screen. The first one I didn't read it, but it's just you don't understand anything on screen. Uh, press many buttons at random. Alright, that didn't do anything. Uh, uh, kick the computer. You know, because that's what you do when you do technology stuff. Well, now my foot hurts. That's that's great. Uh, kick it again. All right, my foot still hurts. Talk to the computer. The computer goes silent. It's screen blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. Attempt to slice the ancient system. The machine stands silent, waiting. Insert your data pad into the receptacle. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again, and then more familiar characters to begin to appear on the screen. Hisriki, Jesufs, Oiwin, So, uh, at Itasuku. Talk to the computer. The computer goes silent again, humming softly. It, it seems to be processing data from your data pad. Your data pad is released from the receptacle, and the machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. Data interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. Interrogate. Identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. Oceanic. Grassland. Arboreal. Planetary type conductive to life-breaking life seal. Yay, I broke the life seal. Time to break the death seal. We got uh, environment shield level 1, droid light plating type 2, and droid motion sensor type 1. Okay. It, I, I saw the cursor on the droid. Yeah, I can see the cursor on the droid, but there's nothing to loot from it. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, so let me heal up a little bit. And head into the second room. Hey, look, it's the guardian droid. How you doing there? Don't mind us, we're just here to murder you. You gotta equip a shield, by the way. Yeah, no, Basila. Let's uh go after the droid. Yeah, just use your powers. Oh, no, he froze... He froze Ganekvar! Ganekvar, no! Ganekvar, you'll be okay. Oh, no, alright, Basta's frozen yes. now. Just let it go, come on. Oh, I missed a little bit. I'm gonna... use my Master Flurry. Yeah, if you can keep freezing Bastila, that's totally fine by me, by the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna use some Flurry. Get some extra attacks in there. Although I missed all of them. I am not doing well with this second lightsaber right now. I need to get a little bit better with two-handed uh, combat first, it would seem. I'm gonna switch to Karth for a little bit. Yeah, Karth, maybe you could use something aside from regular attack. Just saying. I don't know if I'm doing any damage, though. I'm doing a little bit, I suppose. Moving a little bit. Yeah, I'll just stay back here. Oh, Bastila's about to die. Bastila, heal up. Please. We don't need you dead. Not yet. Maybe later. Maybe. Uh, come on. Power attack! Yeah, still missed. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing how much we're missing. He's standing right in front of us. He's standing still, too, and we're just... We're horrible. Come on, he's so close. Come on. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, the ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. Gross. Its screen flickers to life and a stream of incompre incomprehensible characters scroll across it. Uh, talk to the computer. Insert your data pad. Talk to it some more. Alright. Three primary death-giving seed world types. So, desert, volcanic, barren. Death seal broken. 
Boom. Wonderful. Look at me. I know what I'm doing for once. It's amazing. Yeah. Hey, Ancient Droid, how you doing? I just broke both the seals. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. It opened for me. It knows who's the boss. This is kind of creepy, guys. Hopefully no uh, killer clowns jump out. That'd be horrible. I don't think there's clowns in Star Wars, but you know. It's the first time for everything. Oh, boy. Oh. Ooh, so shiny. This, this must be what Revan and Malak found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. What is it? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malak must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So, uh... I still don't understand what, about this. I don't. I still don't understand about the Starforge. What does it do? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here. This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine. And here's Manan. And here's Their us. Is missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Uh, perhaps these worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge, and some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Star Forge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. Oh, of course it only just begun. It's never over for us. You know, we, we survived Taris. Granted, everyone there is dead now. And now we have to come here, and we find maps, and now we gotta use the map to find other maps, and it's just a whole big adventure. Why can't the game just end right here? Oh, right, because then it would be pretty anticlimactic. Wouldn't be a very good story in that case, would it? Uh, I always think that's funny when you find um, mods for games like Fallout or Skyrim, where it's just like, oh yeah, you're not the hero anymore, you're just the guy, and it's like, yes, I can just relax and do my own thing and there's no there's no pressure to save the world or the galaxy or anything like that there it's a cow found all right let's kill him oh i didn't mean to do that i only want to use stasis once going for the kill bastila although you'll probably just die on the way there all right wonderful you didn't die i'm so proud of you bastila today is a great day for bastila all right come on wonderful uh, so we're going to be leaving Dantooine real soon. Which reminds me, before we go to any of the main worlds, we are going to stop at Yavin 4, uh, which is the DLC. It was the the only DLC my droid for is still missing. Knights of the Old Republic. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. Listen, creepy lady. Uh, I found your droid, but he had been destroyed by Cathowns. I am afraid your droid had to be destroyed. My droid? Destroyed? Yep. No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. Okay. Yeah, no. I kind of wanted a reward, but... Okay, yeah. Just walk away, I suppose. Yeah, th thanks a lot. Great job, ma'am. Oh, and she vanished. She's a goddamn Jedi. Hey, John, how's it going? You know nothing, Jon Snow. Um, also, I killed all the Mandalorians. Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? I killed all of them. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Rip. Here is the reward I promised you. Ooh, thank you. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. Listen, I could have not taken the money, but I want the money. I need money. Jedi don't get paid a normal salary. I got news for you. So, you know, 
Gotta make some money every now and then. Ugh, Basila wants to talk. You women, all right, fine, let's talk. How can I help? You, well, you wanted to talk. You look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. Mm. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. I think you're more. I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. Please, I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions, are well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing. Uh huh. But my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our academic. Are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. Uh. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Our relationship? Is this some kind of clumsy come on? I was referring to the bond we share. Uh -huh. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. Uh -huh. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. Prove it. Well, I uh, guess I touched a nerve there, huh? Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves, most definitely. Good. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Yes. Are you going to answer my questions? Nope. Or would you rather just keep annoying me? How about a little bit of column A, column B? Okay, I'll answer a few questions. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Uh, I'm a hut in a human form planning to overthrow the Republic. I'm sick of answering questions. This is the very first one, and it's very basic. Nothing extravagant. I'm a soldier. Good. On which planet were you born? Oh, I don't even know that. Uh, Duralia. It's in a remote system. Why? Excellent. Your current age is? Eh, that's a bit personal there. Uh, what, wasn't all this in my service records? Like, the only thing you know about me? Come on. Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And, uh, what did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. Amen. Many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. Like a we sponge. Can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. All right, I had enough time to think about it. Let's talk again, sweet baby. How can I help? Uh, you have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? Well, your face is all scrunched up like a Kinrath pup. Well, you keep staring at me. See anything you like? You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. Oh, I is that so? I remember, I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. Uh-huh. You know, you're, you're so cute when you're embarrassed. I... That is, you... Why must you be so impossibly inferior? <laughs> you know very well what I am really talking about. Mm -hmm. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles me. Oh, please. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. Yeah, well, you know, blame the Council for that. It wasn't really my choice. What do you think I should do? You could warn me when I, uh, do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. Fine, what do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. Oh, wow, Re really really assuring. I recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I feel that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. Yeah, we must yeah, all yeah. resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Why, why are you getting so upset? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned. For you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Way to make it all about you. Uh, I won't do anything to hurt you. I believe you truly mean what you say, for now. But sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. 
Your power could be a gift or a curse. Or both. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I would appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Okie dokes. Karth, what about you? You want to weigh yes, in? Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, you've been very quiet lately. You know that? Have I been quiet? Yes. I suppose I have. Yep. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. You are right. You've been standing right here all along, Mr. Soldier Man. Left out of the loop? I don't understand. You've literally been here the whole time. Left out of the loop? You know, not being told anything. You're standing along. right it's here. It's really starting to irritate me. Oh, boo -hoo. One thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. You were standing there. And you would do well to leave the matter be. Wow. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, then maybe somebody else will. Maybe they don't like your damn sunglasses. You ever think of that? Uh, why should anything the Jedi do seem strange to you? They thought it was more important that I help find the star maps than stay. Oh, we haven't talked to them yet about that. Spoiler alerts. Why should anything the Jedi do seem strange to you? I may not know much about the Jedi, but I do know they aren't famous for taking on old Padawans and sending them on dangerous assignments. Way to call me old. Uh, they said there's a bond between Bastil and myself. I'm still trying to hit on her, and it's not working. A bond? What kind of bond? You hmm. mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. Yeah, You're she said the same Padawan thing. ...has been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I'm not normal. I'm not normal. trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Uh, are you saying I'm not needed? I can just, you know, go home, I suppose. I'm here and that's not going to change. Get over it. I'm sick of listening to you rant. Why don't you leave? <laughs> Bastila and I have a bond. We have to do this together. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to be a dick. Uh, are you saying I'm not needed? No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it! Kiss well, me! I'll tell you this much, I'm not gonna wait around until I'm betrayed again. Oh, well listen, I'm not gonna betray you. I am not Saul. Come on, Walter White, just give it up, alright? Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Oh, Look, wow, alright. I didn't mean it that way. I wanna get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Yeah! Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. No, that's not how it works. I'm gonna remember that you insulted me. I don't... I, I hold grudges, even though I'm a Jedi. I don't give a damn. You see these lightsabers? I killed Mandalorians with them. Ugh. Oh, Karth. Oh, Karth. Alright, so let's talk to the council and maybe Karth will whine and bitch and moan some more. Because <laughs> that's his strong suit, let's be honest. thats It's what he's good for. That's why I keep him around. Because then I seem oh, like a pretty normal you person by comparison. Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Yes. No, I could not find anything, with Bastila standing right behind me. We found an incomplete star map and mention of something called a Star Forge. This news of a Star Forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Okay. Padawan. Hello. You have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. Do I have Being to? Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. Hmm? I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Did you try so Google? The Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets. But it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. I am ready to do the Council's will. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war. By defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. 
but we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Am I to, uh, undertake this task alone? Because that sounds really horrible. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawa. Bastila will accompany you. For there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Don't remind Perhaps me. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Also what it looks like, uh, also, you know, what it means to look like a Catwoman. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can count on me. I will not fail. You can leave whenever you wish. Good. The sooner the better. Oh, all right. I see how the it is. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. Amen. May the force be with you. Okie dokes. I like how Zar didn't weigh in at all during that. He just stood there and didn't do anything. It goes back to what I said earlier. They just, they don't like him. They just don't include him in their little Jedi games. Alright, I want to upgrade my lightsaber because we have some crystals now. Crystal Sigil. Attack bonus 1. Uh, damage bonus energy 1d6. Special. Alright. And then let's also do Rubot, which is attack one, damage one. Assemble! And then let's put my other one. Let's change that to... Um, do I want both of them to be green? Let's do one green, one yellow. And let's do Crystal Bondar. On hit properties, stun, DC 10, 25% for two rounds, special... Upgrade item lightsaber, and we only have Rubot left, so let's do that. And now there's nothing left for Bastila. Although, do I want to... I'll, I'll keep her on a yellow lightsaber. Or do I want to change both of my lightsabers to blue? I mean, I know green's my favorite color, but... Eh, you know what? Let's stick with that for now. Kind of like that. Kind of like that setup. So I'll do one green and one yellow for now. I might change it up later. But I also have 10 red crystals to sell because I'm never going to use those. So that's something to keep in mind for uh, when I get to a store owner. And Juhani will be in the ship so we can go talk to her and get a move on with our lives. I think I went the wrong way. All right, yeah, these, this is the wrong way, but I think I can talk to some people here. Solia. Oh, he's a gambler. Yep, yeah, nope, never mind. I don't want to gamble. No, thank you, sir. I'm fine. Hello? Oh, hey, droid lady. I I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. You're damn right. D damn right. That's even an answer. A reward speaks louder than words. I'm not going to say that. There is no need. But I must. Yeah, you must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again. Be with me still. I think we understand. Love can do strange things to anyone. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt. An absolutely fascinating man. Uh, yes, he seems quite nice, despite the fact that he hasn't said anything. Samt and I got to talking, and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. 
We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye and thank you. I like how she's like, I want to thank you. I, or I wanted to thank you. It's like, yeah, you didn't come find me. I had to come find you. <gasps> hey, it's you guys. I'm sorry we have nothing of value to give you as a reward. It's okay. Our families have cut us off completely. Had the council not taken us in, we would be foraging in the wilderness to survive. It's okay. I'm just glad I could help you out. When I first met Shen, I feared our forbidden love was doomed to a tragic end. But thanks to you and the Jedi Council, our story ends in joy. I don't know if this is really joy. You guys are living in the Enclave. Raheji and I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. Now we will finally have a place to share our love, without fear of reprisals from our families. I'm just glad I could help you out. So, uh, what are your, what are your plans now? <laughs> Any kids on the way yet? Nope, nope, nope. What are your plans now? We will stay here for the next little while. We're still hoping our parents will learn to set aside their differences and welcome us back into their homes. Unlikely. Maybe not. Well, perhaps we will travel to Coruscant or to the Core Worlds and make our fortunes there. I wish you the best of luck, Shen. Yeah, you, turn, you, you, you turned your back to him. I once knew myself. A way to make it all about you, Karth. All right. Oh, and he ran away. All right, Karth. I see how it is. You just don't want to be social. You don't want anyone to be happy. You just want... You just want everyone to be as miserable as you are. I see how it is. Come on, Karth. That's not cool. Come on. Ugh. Oh, Karth. Uh, but now we have Juhani, so we'll have a full Jedi party, which is probably what I'm going to stick with for for the time being. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, something like that. Um, I don't. I don't think they want me to speak openly of the mission, seeing as they said it's top secret. Um, what could be more dangerous than the Sith? Oh, all right, my cursor was in the way. Well, that sounds terrifying. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, what makes this creature so dangerous? It's hard to believe an animal could pose a threat to Jedi. Why are you telling me this? Ah, what makes the creature so dangerous? I'm just gonna call it the tentacles. The tentacle is a predator. And we are its prey. Well, that's good. Alright, sounds like uh, they're extinct. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I'm that yeah, no, that was really boring actually. Okay, I won't underestimate the tentacle monster. I just you you sir need to learn what to shut up. Uh, let me talk to the uh, the droid merchants over here real quick. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Wait. Uh, Wait. Sneeze disappeared. Damn it. 
Alright, I'm just gonna skip through this. Alright, listen, he just wants me to buy stuff. He just, he's with Circa, and I just, I don't give a damn. Okay, listen, I just want to sell you my damn red crystals that I'm never gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the red lightsaber. Ten crystals. Uh, let's sell all of them. Okay, sweet. And... I don't need five heavy blasters. I don't even need... I'll keep two. Um, Alright. I think that's pretty much... Okay. Wonderful. Time to leave, everyone. Time to get on with our lives and get on with the mission. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, this is our first time on the... Uh, the Evan Hawk, I just realized. Let's uh take a quick look around. We got mission hey over here. What can I do for you? Uh wanna talk to you about your brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Okay. Okay. Have it your way. I'll have it my way. This is Burger King. Or Subway. Or whatever it is where I have it my way. We got Candace in here with our swoop bike and the workbench. Uh, T3 is out here in the main hold, along with Zalbar, and Juhani's in here. We'll talk to her a little later. We have the cockpit over here. We, we got Bastila and Karth and the galaxy map. When you're ready to leave Dantwin, you can use the galaxy map to travel to other planets across the galaxy. All right, so if we take a look at the galaxy map. We can travel to Yavin, Kashyyyk, Dantuin, Manan, Korriban... And Tatooine. So I guess let's uh, start by going to Yavin. 